So far has been a really great experience for the plant pathology team. As you can see, our stall has been very busy. We've had lots of people come, lots of interest. This is my first seamless, um, so didn't really know what to expect, but um, it's been an amazing uh, couple of days. And what I've spoken to people, this is by far the busiest um, seamless Africa that we've had and the energy um, and the interest in what we're doing has exceeded my expectations. One of the most exciting events of the year for us. Um, Africa is a key region for paleontology, and South Africa specifically is one of our biggest markets globally. So, always excited to see how you know payments are evolving in a region, and you know, newcomers entering the space who are really, really creating greater innovation and just more customer-centric solutions. Some very, very go good conversations uh, regarding the future of payments, some very cool clients that are, are asking some very, very good questions and uh, some interesting conversations that's going to be uh, hopefully fruitful in the next couple of weeks. Well, the aim here is to meet people from different cultures, different places, who are passionate about innovation, about payments, and see how we can be able to collaborate and be able to make a change in Africa by digitizing payments across the African continent. The two things that seem to be on most people's mind is digitization. So how do we really progress from a physical card uh, into a digital format, and, and how do we use that? Um, and how does that enable us to streamline um, and remove the friction out of a number of use cases? Um, so I think that's a big topic for the future. And then secondly, um, fraud. I think um, not just in South Africa, but globally, every conversation I have at the moment seems to be around fraud. And I think uh, fraudsters are uh, getting ever increasingly sophisticated and people want to understand um, with the enhanced use cases that we're bringing, how do we make sure that we, we manage the risk around that as well? And so um, increasingly, I think that's going to be a focus for the next few years. The exciting part about fintech is that there's always somebody with something new happening and how we can enable and fit into their ecosystem and partner with them. It's always nice to see newcomers because that means that our industry is growing. And I think if you look at the payment space, it sometimes can be a very closed industry. It's good to see fresh faces, fresh ideas, um, and new ways of thinking. And I think that is so important for us to keep the innovation flowing. We've had some requests for tokenization, tap to pay. So that's something that our tokenization product solves for. So we're very excited to, to take that forward to the next level around implementing contactless tap to pay on mobile payments. And there have been some interesting conversations, especially around the payment space and financial inclusion, which is what we are all about as a business. I'm looking forward to today. I'm going to be chatting through actually, actually with the panel about um, how retailers can encourage inclusion uh, when it comes to the underbanks in the actual context. It's mandated by regulators um, as well as governments uh, to bring people into the formal economies. So retailers play an extremely important role in order to service these types of consumers. It's about finding and connecting with, uh, with new prospects and hopefully we can find a way to collaborate and, and partner with and go forward. We've had some really great conversations, met people that we haven't seen in a long time that have come through. It's been very busy, busier than last year actually. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it.